poisonous to the touch kind of plants. The opinions today, um, some of the plants are more like sun tolerant and some of them want to be in more shady spots. So basically pretty much all of the broadleaf plants that we have, you're going to want to put in like a shadier spot. This one's Ali. This is like the workhorse of the Hawaiian forest. You can find this from the summit down to the ocean. It can handle wet, it can handle dry, sun, shade. But for these ones, we can plant all in here. Um, we want to get them close enough that eventually they're going to create a canopy that's going to shade out the grass. So, I mean, three feet away from each other from the nearest plant is probably a good um, place to start. So this one, so just as an example of how to plant, you got the dibble tube right here, right? You want to plant, dig a hole that's deep enough that you're going to have the whole plant go into the um, into the ground. You don't want it like sticking out this far because then the roots will be exposed, the plant's gonna die. You don't want to like not have too deep of a hole and just shove it in there and have the root kind of turn sideways because then the root's not gonna be able to go straight down and it's not gonna be as healthy of a plant. Uh, might still survive, but we want these plants to have its best chance to live, right? So we're gonna find, hopefully, a soft spot to dig in real quick. Um, so you also don't want to put like the leaf litter and stuff like that into the ground, into the soil with you. So you wanna kinda like get rid of all the leaf litter and dead grass, get down to the soil and dig out, maybe make a pile of the dirt right next to it where you're going to want to refill it. Just keep on digging until you get a good hole. And then you can test every once in a while to see how deep your hole wants to be. So right there I'm like pretty close to the, the top of the, um, like my hole's deep enough I'm not going to be making a J-curve and the top of my roots aren't going to be sticking out. Just a little bit. And then, especially with the koas, the big tall ones, they're so root bound that you're gonna have to really squeeze and massage the dibble tube, right? So you wanna like squeeze it and you're not gonna wanna like yank it out because you'll just break the stem off. So you wanna make sure it's gonna be easy to come out. Sometimes roots are coming out of the bottom right here. So you need to kind of like massage like that. There's a couple different tricks. You can like hit on the side of it right there. See how it pops up. Oh, so I put my plant on one side of the hole and then I make sure that it's in there straight, not bent. And then I fill around the plant. You want to make sure that you like don't leave air holes or anything like that. Um, slowly fill it up around it. You want to leave like a little cup so like when water comes it'll fill up around the plant. Sweet. Make sure that the top of the plant is not exposed. Um, you might be able to cover around it with a little bit of mulch. And then because we're doing this out planting all the different ones have different colors. We're gonna put green flags next to these so we know ah, this is when we collect them. Woo! 